Hi everyone, welcome back to Stamp with Anna and today I have the last card that we made at last weekend's um, card class where we featured the suit and tie dies which is part of the well suited bundle. Um, now because I have my classes virtually um, it's again stamping up policy for me to sell card kits that have stamped images. So all of my cards that I've been making during this, these times um, focus either on technique or um, simply on designer series paper or dies. So this one here is a die class. And I used this bundle. Uh, it's the well-suited bundle and it has a stamp set, coordinating dies, some twine as well as designer series paper and here is the stamp set and although it looks like a masculine Father's Day set you have ties and bow ties and have a happy Father's Day and to one of the world's greatest dads and these obviously happy birthday to you thank you and you're the best those could be for anything but the set itself um, is geared towards a masculine card but you can use that for a female card and here is the die set. And here you have your tie, suspenders, your collar line, your lapel, some collars, bow ties, a suspender straps, buttons, a little hanky and a pocket. And you can do a lot with these. And I'm gonna show you just a couple samples that I've been making. Um, I've posted most of them online. Some of the ones that I just made uh, at this class, this week's class, aren't online. This one I posted yesterday, and it just uses the um, designer series paper. And I made some suspenders for this uh, young man. This one here, uh, I used different elements and did a little bit of paper piecing, and I made some scrubs. This one here, I took the uh, V-neck die, tipped it upside down, and made a pair of jeans and used all the stitched edges for some nice detail to make my denim look as um, realistic as possible. And here is um, one, it's almost like what we're gonna make today, but I ran this through the um, textile, textured textile, I think it's called, embossing folder, so it's a nice sweater. And uh, this one here, uh, we also made it class, and this is a little girl's romper. Today, we are going to make this woman's sweater, and I just love this. Um, and it's very, very simple to do. So, we have a card base, which is thick, basic white, and it's cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and that is our base. Then I'm going to show you exactly how I made this part here. And so I'm gonna bring up my big shot. And I'm gonna bring in my magnetic platform, an acrylic die, and I have a piece of Rococo Rose. Now, Rococo Rose is one of the colors that's retiring uh, at the end of April. So if you want that, be sure you um, hurry up and get that because this week the, um, the retiring list goes out and everything that is in color, 1921 in color, is always the first to go. So I'd hate to see you not get what you want. So I've used this die here to make, let me just push this over so I know you can see it, to make my sweater cut. Now, I'm going to center it between the left and the right shoulders, just eyeballing that, and then also making sure that it's in the center of my card here, because I don't want my sweater to be crooked. Okay, so that looks about right, and I think it's like two and an eighth on either side roughly I want to scooch this over just a tad that's two and an eighth yep that's close enough and now I'm going to put my second plate on top and I'm going to run that through okay. 
and there is the front of my sweater. Now I want to emboss it. Now remember, I'm always telling you, if you are going to cut and emboss the same piece of cardstock, you need to cut it first because if you emboss it first and then run it through the machine again to cut it, some of your embossing will disappear. So I am using the Suttles Dynamic Embossing Folder and I'm going to put in my sweater here and I'm gonna have my lines go vertically on this. So because this is dynamic, I only need one plate. I'm going to run that through. And the result is this beautifully embossed sweater front. Isn't that pretty? So this is going to go right on our paper because this white um, card base is going to be the blouse for this woman. So I'm gonna turn this over and I'm going to use liquid glue because I do wanna make sure that I have some time to maneuver and position my um, sweater on the card exactly where it needs to go. going to just line up my two shoulders right up against there and there each corner and press and there's my sweater now on one of these other ones that I made this is kind of the same thing I had the sweater but the trim on this one I die cut this long piece here that's in the um, die set which is what I use to make suspenders and then I embossed it with this, and that's how I made this neckline. But for this one here, I want to use some ribbon, and I have um, some Rococo Rose ribbon, like I said, is retiring, so I wanted to um, use that before it retired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my um, stamp and seal, and I'm just going to run A line of adhesive making sure I get to the top and I'm going to put this ribbon right at the edge there okay and I'm going to come down straight down so right it's at an angle now with my scissors I'm going to cut that and I'm going to cut this top because that's hangs over now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm going to cross over that ribbon. And again, I'm going to line that up up at the top. And I'm going to come down to the bottom. And I found that the stamp and seal really is the best uh, adhesive to use to get this ribbon to stay. Not only am I gonna miss this color, I'm gonna miss this ribbon. I just think it's such a pretty, pretty ribbon. So there is the um, card. So now we need to make the neckline, the little skin right there, and the buttons and collar. So I'm gonna bring my Big Shot back up, because again, I wanna show you how I did this. Again, I have my magnetic plate. And an acrylic plate. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have a scrap piece of white. And from the basic white, I need a collar and I need some buttons. So I'm gonna run those through my first pass. Okay. 
now the, the collar is very delicate. It's, um, it's held together with this tiny, tiny piece of um, paper. So you do want to um, be careful with it. And what I like about the buttons, other than the fact that they pop right out, is that you can die cut six buttons at a time with one pass. Now for this sweater, I've only used four. So there's my four buttons. Take them off my plate and put them aside. Now, I need, like I said, I need to make that little piece of the woman's neck. Now here's my die and here's the, the collar. So this piece here is what I need to make her neck. So all I really need to cut out is that right there. I need that little diamond. You could certainly do that um, freehand, but I'm gonna show you why I chose to do it this way. And there's my little piece. I'm gonna put that aside because goodness knows I'll lose it. Now I'm gonna put my card together. So here's my card and I'm going to pop this up because I have some pearls that I want to put on um, this sweater. So I'm going to turn this over, be very gentle with it. I'm going to put dimensionals. I'm gonna put three on each one because I really want it to stand up. Not too close to the bottom because I am going to run my pearls through that. Okay. Now, when I attach these to my sweater, I want to make sure that the tops of these are straight and that they are aligned with the top of the card. All right, there's that. Now here's my little piece that I want to put right here. And I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid glue. Now the reason I, I cut this out is because I wanted it to slide right in. I was trying to avoid making extra bulk. So if I cut it from the same die, I knew it was gonna fit perfectly. I didn't have to fuss and I wasn't gonna have extra bulk on my card. Okay, so there's just a bit of skin showing through. Then I have some pearls. These, I'm going to confess, are not Stampin' Up! Pearls. And the reason they're not Stampin' Up! Pearls because Stampin' Up! Pearls are on a sheet individually and I would have to place each one individually. I happen to have these in my stash and these are all attached. You could certainly use the Stampin' Up! ones and um, go for it one by one, but I didn't have the time or the patience pop right off the backing. Just get it started there. And they're gonna come off. Oh, geez, it worked a lot easier yesterday. <laughs> and it's gonna come off all in one strip. See that? Now, these are gonna go under my collar. So I'm gonna lift that just a tad. And before I push these really far down, I wanna kind of move it along to where it's going to end up on this side. And then I will position it because I wanna make sure that I give myself enough pearls to, go, to actually go around the sweater and if need be I will um, whoops I will go under my collar this is actually the toughest part of the card is getting the pearls on so I'm gonna fuss with those just a tad 
And it's one of the ladies said at class, it's okay. Who really walks around with their pearls nice and even and straight? <laughs> okay, and there's her pearl necklace. Now remember those buttons. Those buttons are the same size as a glue dot. So the best way to put those on is with a glue dot. And the, I can't show you on camera because it really won't show up. But the front of the buttons is nice and embossed. So it really does look like a button. And like I said, I'm not going to use all six of these buttons on her shirt. I'm just going to use four of them. And there is my pretty sweater. Isn't that pretty? I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will look at this um, die set in a way other than just for a masculine um, card. Although it's great for a masculine card, we're always looking for something for our masculine cards. Um, if you have any questions at all about this project or any of the products I used, please contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And if you don't have a demonstrator with whom you work, certainly let me know and I'll be glad to pop a current catalog in the mail to you. And if you did enjoy this project, I would love it if you'd give my video a thumbs up or if you would subscribe to my channel so you can be notified whenever I put up a new one. Thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll catch you back here another time. Bye-bye.